Hey guys, so I see this question come up quite often. Uh, you've got an E30, um, though this is uh, for a lot of cars, not just E30s uh, with the um, Bosch uh, alternators. So the question comes up a lot, uh, my alternator is not charging, I need to replace it. The bottom line is, 9 out of 10 times the alternator is fine. Um, what gets worn is the brushes on the voltage regulator, which can be accessed with the alternator still in the car. Uh, you have to remove the intake um, air filter box, but that's about it. And there's two screws on it. So this is what a pretty worn voltage regulator will look like. Um, this one is uh, still good, and this one is brand new. Um, here's actually the part number for it. And now, here's an alternator out of the car um, that I just have laying around. We're going to see if I can do this one-handed. No, I can't. Hang on. Okay. So, it's two screws on the back. Come out, and then there you go. And again, this is an old regulator. I've seen worse. It's not. It's still usable, but um, it's worth replacing, uh, especially if you just don't know the life of the one that's in there. It's it's not an expensive part. It's a quick job. You know, replace it while it still has some life left in it. Throw this old one in the glove box in case, uh, you know, something happens with the new one and, and you always have a spare. Um, that's about it. Mo like I said, most of the time that's the only problem with these alternators. Um, unless they're making noise, the the bearings are usually, they last for a long time. They're very well built. Um, replacing the voltage regulator is, is a, usually a much better option than buying a remanufactured alternator. And buying a new alternator is they're, they're super expensive, um, you know, Bosch factory Bosch alternators. So change the voltage regulator, and uh, you should be good to go. Hope that I uh, hope that helped you guys. Also, just to give you an idea, so the brushes ride on on this right here. Um, you could usually kind of stick your hand in there and see if it's uh, if it's badly grooved up or whatnot. If, if it's super, super grooved, then I would say, yeah, it's a good idea to, to get a replacement alternator. And even then, I would still look at even like a, a used alternator that's in good shape and just swap the, to a new voltage regulator um, because there's, there's just a lot of issues with, with these cheaply remanufactured alts. Um, but yeah, this one is fine. Nothing wrong with it. Uh, you know, I would even consider if, if, if you are near a, a person who rebuilds alternators conveniently, I have a spot about two blocks away. Um, it would even be a better idea if you do want, if you do have uh, any major problems with it, you'd be better off just taking it to someone that knows what they're doing and rebuilding the stock unit than, than getting an aftermarket one.